Sometimes, in an attempt to improve one thing, it's easy to overlook some other issues. This is basically what is happening now in the global economy. Central banks keep raising interest rates, trying to curb inflation. However, it adversely affects the economy and some crucial sectors. The forecast for the EU PMI indexes for June were rather pessimistic, however the actual readings turned out to be much worse. In particular, the manufacturing PMI index decreased to 43.6 from a 44.8. The forecast reading was 44.7 points. Instead of falling to 54.9 from a 55.1, the services PMI index collapsed to 52.4. As a result, the composite PMI index of business declined to 50.3 from a 52.8. The indicator was supposed to dip only to 52.6, so it's hardly surprising that the euro fell rather sharply. The UK PMI data was rather disappointing as well. The manufacturing PMI dropped to 46.2 from a 47.1, and the consensus reading was a 54 and half points. The services PMI was projected to slide to 53.2 from a 54. The actual reading stood at 52.8, the composite PMI index plummeted to 53.7 from a 55.2. Economists had expected the figure to total 54.4 points. The pound sterling showed a modest decline following these reports. The main reason was upbeat retail sales data. British retail sales unexpectedly rose to minus 2.1 percent from a minus 3.4, surprising the forecast reading of minus 2.4 percent. However, by the end of the day, the euro and the pound sterling may win back some of the early losses. The United States is scheduled to reveal the same data. Analysts expect no less pessimistic figures. The European Union PMI indexes turned out to be worse than expected. A similar situation could happen in the United States. The euro-dollar pair retreated from a 1.10 W ahead of the US PMI indexes. It led to a rollback and short positions. Due to sharp downward movement, the quotes fell below 1.0900. It means that after pullback, the pair started a correction, so the downward movement is likely to continue. The pound dollar pair is still sliding down despite speculative trading. It approached the 1.2700. If it stays below 1.2700 for a long time, it could lead to a stronger downward movement. As long as the price remains at this level, there is a chance of a rebound and the support level is located at 1.2700. Traders will pay great attention to this level when determining the further trajectory of the pair. And that's all for now. We keep monitoring the financial market situation. Subscribe to our channel and see you in several hours. We will take a close look at the used trading session.